Hi, how's it going, everybody? Um, <clears throat> before I begin on my topic, I have a comparison that I want to make to you guys. I have two cameras that I use to, to shoot my videos, and neither one of them is a camcorder per se, but they're, you know, they're still cameras that also shoot video, and they do webcams, and that's how I do my videos. Now, this one that I'm using right now is uh, the Vivitar Vivicam 55 and the advantages of it is that it uh, requires less light so uh, and um, it has a um, it has a wider range so you get to see more of the room and um, and for whatever reason when if if i want to take it out it'll use my rechargeable batteries while the other camera will not but unfortunately i dropped it and i chip the battery cover so that's mostly why i had just use it as a dedicated webcam now do you prefer this or do you prefer this now um, i'm not really sure about the brand name of this camera it i've had it well actually longer than i've had the vivitar it's uh, kind of a mid-range camera so it's not uh, a super economy model but it's not a really good one either but it has 3.1 megapixels and I really don't know what that means, but okay. Uh, but it was manufactured by a company called Digital Concepts. Now, as you can see, the colors are much more vivid uh, because of the fact that it's a, it's a, a higher speed camera. Um, there's more frames per second and la la la. And um, the colors are much more vivid and it's a sharper picture, but the uh, the lens is a lot narrower so the, it's 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 got a really restricted field of view so i'm kind of up in the air about which one i want to use as my camera from now on and of course you know it, it's only a matter of a couple of weeks before i'm going to upgrade and get an an actual camcorder that i can take out into the world but um, just curious as to what you think so um Take a look at this and let me know which picture you prefer and we'll go on from there. Now from here I'm going to move on to my topic for today which is television. And I watch much much less television than I used to and it's mostly because I'm not really happy with the content. And every time I turn around I hear somebody, some expert or just somebody on the street saying that they're tired of the low quality programming that's available on TV and that they want something that's new and interesting and innovative but yeah I think they're lying because first off American Idol which is a show that I have never seen in its entirety not even once uh, I'm aware of it because there are other programs that I watch mostly news programs that are, are constantly putting this this travesty on like it's some kind of news and I don't care for it. I feel it's a, it's, it's a degradation of the human spirit. I think it lowers us. I think it lowers our discourse. I think it lowers the way that we treat each other as human beings. And I think it's vile, but it is consistently the highest rated show on TV. This, and this coming from a population that says that they want better programming. They want more intelligent programming. Now, there was a, a show on NBC this past year called Rain, starring Jeff Goldblum. It was about uh, it was a drama about a detective who solves crimes by imagining that the victim is following him around and nagging at him. And the the interesting thing about it was um, it it always got to the point where the lines between fantasy and reality would blur with this guy, and every he was starting to wonder if he was losing his mind and his police his higher up made him go to a psychiatrist office which kind of puzzled me because if, if that was in real life I would say well you know if you don't approve of my methods then, you know I'll go ahead and quit and you know you can have a big stack of unsolved murder cases on your hands but you know that's not how it works there's that has to go along in order to move the storyline along and I understand that as a writer but that's neither here nor there the show was very well written. The show was very well acted. It was very intelligent and it was immediately canceled. So all these people, either all of these people that say they want new, interesting, innovative, intelligent television shows are lying. And they're saying that because they want to appear intellectual when in reality they just can't wait to get that, you know, 
big hunk of cotton candy called American Idol shoved in their heads, or the uh, people that are making television just have no regard for their audience, and people are just watching this show because their own lives are so dissatisfying that they would rather concentrate on garbage than their own lives. No matter how you slice it, it doesn't really paint a pretty picture of us as a, as a society. So, generally, you know, when I watch television now, it's either Mythbusters, which is kind of sort of educational, but not really, or Simpsons reruns or Scrubs reruns. I don't watch that many new shows. So, at the very least, I think it uh, explains some of the success of YouTube, and since I'm on YouTube, I guess that kind of works for me anyway. So, if you can just uh, shoot me a line and give me the uh, ideas of which camera you prefer, I would appreciate that. 